guys, welcome to a new video. Here we have a new um, product to review, which is the JJC Deluxe Lens Pouch. They do various sizes, so fit various size of lenses. This particular one is 14 centimeters wide by 37 centimeters tall or long. Um, it comes with an insert as well as a lens strap um, for the bag, and you can put a, a, a you know, attach your belt to it as well if you want to. And there are straps that go around the top and the bottom. Um, it does have plastic latches here, which I would have liked to have seen latches made out of metal to make it stronger. So you can attach uh, your strap to eat both sides, like so. And it's quite a decent strap for carrying your bag around. And I think you'll be quite happy with that. Price-wise, it's relatively cheap at £27, so, you know, certainly not that expensive. Um, so, essentially, at the top, we have a netting there to put your accessories. It comes with a foamed insert, just want to show you that. So, a bit of cardboard there and a bit of foam on the other side. Uh, you just put that in like so to protect your lens. What lenses have we got here to fit? We've got the Sigma 150-600 to Contemporary, a big zoom lens. Um, so if we just take the lens hood off, zoom it out, and as you can see, it's about level with the, the top of the case. Um, what I do like about this case, however, is because it's tall, and you uh, have your zoom lens like that, it will fit in without having to take the lens hood off. Um, it's, it's a little bit proud, but once you zip it up, like so, as you can see, it fits nicely. Let's get the RF800 lens that I've got here, with the lens hood reversed. Um, Incidentally, JJC do other products, including a nice cheap lens hood for your RF800 for about £18. It's a lot cheaper than the Canon, which costs you 60 quid. Let's see if that lens fits in there, just about. You can see that there's quite a bit of room on top there. Um, and it fits most lenses and zoom lenses, um, such as the Sony 200 to 600, you sent it to 200, 2.8 lenses. Um, most of the one, all, well, virtually all the 150 to 600s, including I think the Sport would probably fit in this as well. Um, and I think it's a good quality case for a relatively small amount of money. And if you're thinking that your bag is a bit too small for one of these lenses, something like this would be ideal to carry along with your, your, your smaller bag. Yes, you can get bigger bags which cost a lot more money. And, you know, you might just think, I need something just to carry my lens around. I don't need um, to spend a lot of money on a big bag. Um, this is the ideal solution for you guys out there. Um, so I will put a link in the description box um, to Amazon if you want to get hold of one of these. But um, I really think it's good value for money. Um, the only thing I would say with, with lens cases like this, because um, some of the manufacturers... Um, information out there will, will suggest you can put a 300mm 2.8 lens in the case. Technically speaking it will fit. The only problem is when you reverse the lens hood and put that in with the lens it's it's very very tight and the rubber on the lens hood um, stops it coming in and out easily. A solution, a workaround I found around that was to use a plastic bag around uh, the lens hood and it just about squeezes in but in the real world usage of using um, your lens I, I wouldn't recommend this lens lens uh, case for a 300 2.8 lens for that reason um, if you don't mind going around with your lens without the lens hood that's the 300 2.8 L lens um, yes get one of these it's not a problem However, if you do need that lens hood on your lens all the time, you're a wildlife photographer and you just want a bag where you can pull it out and use it in the field, this probably isn't the case for you. However, saying that, for £27 you can't go wrong. Um, I think it's 
you know, it's, it's well made. Um, the only concern I've got is with the, these latches here, which are made out of plastic. Um, over time, it's a possibility they could break. Um, but then again, you know, you're not spending a ton of money. So I suppose they had to cut corners somewhere. Um, JJC company is a Chinese company, but they, they do a lot of products. And I think they're getting more and more well known in the industry um, because they, they do like a RF um, extension tube, they do um, lens hoods as said, they're doing bags, so they're doing all sorts in the photography field and I would highly recommend this as an alternative to the other bigger brands. You may be familiar with the, uh, the uh, low pro ones. Um, but that, that, that is the, they are significantly more expensive um, so I just wanted to give you an alternative if you've not got a lot of money to spend on a, on a bag that's, I highly recommend this and not only that they have a, a, a vast array of different sizes hopefully you can see that there um, you know so do check them out on Amazon they have multiple um, cases for you and if it's, this case is too big for your lens I'm sure they've got a case for you. I will put links in the description box for the various sizes um, if you want to go and purchase them um, you know, and get hold of some of those for your lenses if you want to protect it. You know, you may not have a big lens, you may have a, a small 35mm lens you want to have protected and it's always a good idea to have multiple protection um, regarding your camera equipment because you know, lenses and cameras cost a lot of money and it's better to protect them with something relatively inexpensive than to spend a ton of money on uh, um, you know, replacing lenses and cameras. Anyway, I thought oh, this video was informative, telling you about this um, new product. I, just, I do think that they're a good product. That's why I personally will be keeping this bag um, to carry around with my um, Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens because it allows me to literally have the lens hood there and you know if I see something that I want to photograph I just pull it out, attach it to my camera and it's ready to go. That is fantastic. And not only that, you know, you can always um, reverse the lens hood like so. You might have, I wouldn't recommend putting extenders on a lens like this but you could do um, and then you've got plenty of room in there so you know there's, there's about that much room um, in the case for an extender, you know, so um, you know, I think it is a nice product to have. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this bag, do you think it's a, a good product to buy? And I'll see you in the next video, but um, you know, um, do check out my other comparison that I've done with this. This is the Low Pro one, uh, which is a similar sized one, and um, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.